Hi Aquarius, welcome to Jenny Lintero. Sorry, I've got a bit of a glare on my face. This is gonna be a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. Please do check out your other placements. They want me to tell you to look at your rising sign, Aquarius. Not sure why so specifically for you to tell you that. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please look in the description box below. All of the information will be listed there for you. I do psychic tarot and medium readings. So with the medium readings, I can do individual, if there's somebody in particular that you're looking to connect with, or I can do group readings. And I do those group readings live. Since it's difficult to get to people these days, I can do it right over the phone and I read energy, whether we're on the phone, live. I can do either one, especially with uh, tarot and or psychic. All of it is just energy. So we don't need to be face to face for me to read those messages for you. Okay, Aquarius, the first thing I saw when I was meditating on your energy was swords. And now they're giving me a hard time yeah, they want me to bend these cards. There were swords and a pentacle. They showed me a pentacle. So I feel like there's a situation where they just said siblings might be fighting over money. Um, I don't know if uh, there might have been a family member that passed and maybe the family is arguing over that person's money. But that seems to be a, a strong indication. They usually start with one thing and then they'll lead me into part of the story. I don't know if that's going to have anything to do with your reading today, but that was definitely a message that needed to be brought out for you. So just be aware that uh, the fighting over this situation, I don't think it's going to end, unfortunately, anytime soon. I think it's going to take a while for this situation to resolve itself. Okay, Aquarius. So we're going to check into your recent past, your current energies, and then your immediate future. So let's see what we've got for Aquarius. All right, we're gonna shuffle. Here we go. Okay. So for Aquarius, September 2020, we've got the Hierophant, the Seven of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Swords in Reverse, the, I can't count, the Star Card. Oh, that, I always look at the numbers. The Star Card, the Six of, Six of Swords, sorry, Six of Swords, <laughs> the Nine of Cups Upright, the Hanged Man, and the nine of wands or the nine of staves. And then, okay, your overall burned it. This whole situation, uh, so the download was very clear. Okay, so we have the ten of, ten of wands or the ten of staves, the eight of cups, and the chariot. So I definitely feel like you're, tired of this. This battle, whatever this is, if this is arguing within the family over money, whether this is about a trust they just said, you're fed up. You're like, no more. I'm not taking this. I've had enough. I'm going to lay, eventually lay this down because it's just getting way too heavy. I'm just walking away. Like, I don't have any desire. I'm going to this is cancer energy, by the way, the chariot card in reverse is you're just not wanting to deal with it anymore. You're not going to keep feeding into this negative energy that is going on around the family situation. You look kind of tired, honestly, like it's just drained you emotionally and you want out. I'm seeing the two lines prominently in the chariot card at the bottom. So I think there's a lot of, even though it's upside down, there's been a lot of contemplation, a lot of back and forth, a lot of light and dark energies that have been going round and round about this situation and 
you just don't want to deal with it. I can see that's, that's your overall energy. Yeah, the sun's kind of behind you in that Eight of Cups picture. So I'm, I'm sensing that you kind of feel like there's been a little bit of burning to the back is what I'm sensing, almost like a knife in the back, but in this case being burned, like somebody pouring hot water on your back. I don't know why they just told me that, but that sounds pretty extreme. It just feels like that. It feels like being burned. So in the recent past, you have the Hierophant, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Wands. And I think this is moving into something a little bit different. I think you were possibly dealing with someone in a relationship who uh, thought they were... <laughs> I don't know what it is and why this is coming out suddenly. They're having me use bad words. They thought they were the shit, if you will. Um, they had lots of options and could never stand still, always looking into the future, always looking beyond what they already had. The page can be someone who speaks to, I have, okay, so they're giving me that, this person, even if they talk to a lot of different people, because their ego is kind of big, they still always I feel like I hear this a lot in readings. They always watch you. I This person stalks you severely, Aquarius. So either you're stalking someone or they're stalking you or they're, oh, they just gave me something else. Or they're watching other people online in situations that I can't speak about on YouTube. So... You get what I'm saying. Either that's something you do often or the person that you are dealing with, maybe you caught them looking at other people online is the message that they're giving me. It's a very strange message. Okay, and then we've got the Queen of Swords, the Star card, and the Six of... And I want to keep calling it the Six of Wands, but it's not. It's... The Six of Swords, and they keep I keep struggling over it. So the Queen of Swords, I, I think you're just exhausted by this situation, whether you're male or female. I think this relationship has taken you to a kind of dark place. You don't feel like you're in your power anymore. It's kind of taken the, the twinkle out of your eye. I hate to see that. And... With this in reverse, this is, you're not able, I feel like you think you're unable to move away from this situation. And from what they brought out earlier, I think you really just, you want to see some light at the end of the tunnel. You don't want to be stuck in this situation where you feel like you have no way out. And I feel like you feel powerless right now in making that decision. I don't believe that's the case. I don't think we're ever powerless. I think we always have the ability to get out of anything that we want to get out of. Maybe you just need to take a little time because below I see, right below where this, and I keep stumbling, they will not let me get the Six of Swords out. God, you must really, right now they're like, they're literally stopping my speech every time I try to speak on this Six of Swords. So you must not, be feeling like you can tell either family members or friends that you want to leave this situation. I feel like this person has put you in a place where you, you literally have no power to speak or move. Yeah, the communication is going to open up though. I feel like you're going to finally say that, that you're you're definitely with the hanged man. You're kind of in a position where you're thinking about, does this fulfill me? Do I really want to be in this situation? I mean, look at what you've just seen. I mean, there could be a different, a couple different scenarios, but my guess is that you're working with somebody who 
communicates with other people too often and that really doesn't make you happy. You're not fulfilled with a nine. It's like you're coming to your wits end of not being emotionally fulfilled. And with the hangman, you're definitely thinking about communicating to the people that you care about that you're not happy in this situation and that you think it's time for you to get out. But boy, does this person have a way of like, it's almost as if you're afraid to speak about what's going on in this situation. Maybe you're afraid to expose this person and they've told you that if you tell on them for the things that they do, that there might be some consequences. Yeah, you definitely feel like you can't speak about something. Something is holding you back. I'm going to try to find out what that is. Let's see what it is that you're having trouble communicating. But I, whatever it is, I definitely feel like you're going to in the future. I don't think you're going to hold back. Yeah, I definitely don't think you're going to hold back. Okay, I'm going to actually pull from the same deck for clarifier. I just feel there's some message in this deck for you about this situation. Let's see if maybe they'll give us a jumper on this one. Okay. Here, let's get this for Aquarius. What do we need to know about the Hierophant? No. Okay, now they're telling me to take the top card. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles. I think you tried to confront this person. Po okay, possibly about money being spent on their extracurricular activities, the things that they like to partake in. Um, I don't know why that's coming to me with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, but something about this tells me that there was some financial, some kind of financial issue in accordance with these circumstances. Yeah, I'm still feeling stifled. It's like they just don't want me to speak on it. It's really, I'm not uncomfortable with it. I, I really am not affected by much. But for some reason, this person doesn't want you to speak maybe about money issues within the relationship or the misuse of money in the relationship is what I'm hearing. So there's several things that this person has done. This is pretty specific. And they want to keep you quiet. Yeah, you just don't feel like you're in your strength. King of Wands. Fire energy. And then the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is a pair. You've lost faith that this relationship has the ability to move forward. Definitely. I, I You know... With the strength in reverse, you're just, and these two, reverse, it's like there's nothing left. You don't have the fight in you to try to keep this together. You feel out of your power. That person is definitely not in their power, participating in things that are not great outside of the relationship. And you need to find your strength. You need to get back to feeling that you have someone that you can actually communicate with that, oh God, I hate to say this, but that doesn't feel like you're, they're saying talking to a wall. I feel like not only can you not get your words out, but you feel like you're talking to a wall. Yeah, yeah, you feel completely stifled in your energy, Aquarius. Okay, let's get a message from the Romance Angels and see what their advice, the advice in the love department. I mean, this is kind of one of those situations where if you ever feel like you can't speak up, find that one person. We all have that one person. Go to that person and, and tell them what you're going through. Don't ever be afraid to speak up, regardless of what the circumstances are. Whether it's embarrassing or not, it doesn't matter, you know? Okay, so we've got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I think this is <laughs> a strong push 
for you to realize that this is not the end all be all for you. That if this person is going to keep up with their not so pleasant behavior, that you're going to move on and definitely be optimistic that if you could possibly repair this with this person, but I think you're going to be trying to stay positive with the way you look at at the situation and what might come in the future. Okay, let's get one more card for Aquarius for September. Unrequited love. That's exactly what we've been talking about. This is definitely not a partnership where there is a balance in equality. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Um, I think that says it all. Aquarius, I think it's just time for you to decide that you're better than this and you have a right to speak about how you feel, especially when it comes to things that you won't accept in a relationship, regardless of what it is, whether the person just had, you know, had options or was looking at other options and didn't actually act on that behavior. It doesn't matter if you don't feel that that person puts you first, then you need to keep the hope and the faith that there is somebody out there that will make you feel what you want to feel. Obviously, we need to love ourselves first and then we attract more so what we want into our lives because they reflect back to us how we feel about ourselves. No doubt about it, but I think you're growing past this negative kind of not so balanced person into knowing that you deserve so much better. Okay, Aquarius, we're going to get a card for health and law of attraction. And then again, we'll get one of those wisdom of Oracle cards for a message from the universe. This is for Aquarius. Yeah, they won't go that way. Okay, the message is my achievement of joy is my achievement of success. The idea of success for most people revolves around money or the acquisition of property or other possessions, but we consider a state of joy to be the greatest achievement of success. And while the attainment of money and wonderful possessions certainly can embrace your state of joy, the achievement of a good feeling physical body is by far the greatest factor for maintaining a continuing state of joy and well-being. And so there are a few things of greater value than the achievement of a good feeling body. I definitely, definitely think this is telling you that no matter what circumstances you're in, what monetary things, uh, material things that you think are important in this relationship, they're worth walking away from to have a sound mind, body, and soul. Okay, let's get the Wisdom of Oracle card for Aquarius for September 2020. Go the distance, 47. That adds up to an 11. So although, yeah, this is quite the fighter card. So although the 11 uh, can be representative of a pair. In this case, I think you need to move forward and see that you have the endurance, the strength, and the ability for sure to go the distance. They're bringing up something about work, and most this reading is not pertaining to work at all. A lot of my readings have, but this one for you, Aquarius, if there is something. I feel like in the position that you're in now, that feels like it might be a little bit more than you can handle, the message they're giving me is, don't worry about it, you can go the distance. You can definitely go the distance. All right, let's get the actual meaning of the card. I'm gonna set this down and look for the card number, which is 47. So we're towards the end, 47. Six. Okay, we're almost there. 47. Go the distance. Essential meanings, endurance, strength, the long haul. To bring your dream 
to life, you must think long term and pay no attention to the fluctuations in the current of your experience. Joy and disappointment commingle with opportunities, so there is no need to fear the occasional obstacle. Life is not a sprint. This card is a reminder that you have endurance, strength, and fortitude to carry you all the way. Remain true to yourself, your authenticity alone will keep you in alignment with the energy of miracles. What is yours will, ne will never be withheld from you. Remember that. Relation I'm going to read you the relationship message. You either are in or are calling in a harmonious relationship that you can stand the test of time, that can stand the test of time. For better or worse, as you ride the ups and downs and even strain, break yourself and are remade in new growth, you are being redeemed by the power of regeneration. Harmony does not there... Oh, does not mean there will be a wrong note played, but that the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity. A new song can be written, and in, an instrument can be tuned, and the symphony of love will play on. Listen with your heart. Isn't it magnificent? Yeah, in this case, Aquarius, I think you need to listen to your heart. You've definitely got the strength to either rush forward with this situation at work, and go the distance, you may be able to repair this relationship if, <laughs> if you think it's worth it. But my thought is, is that you're just going to be moving on. I, I really do see you taking a step forward and knowing that you have the strength to speak up and work through whatever difficulties you might have about the idea of letting go of this and moving on. Okay, Aquarius, thank you so much. Again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, please check out the description box. And if you don't mind, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And I will see you in your next video. Love and light.